everyone. Welcome to live interactive English. I'm Mike. I am Rainbow. And it's part two of our bargain hunting、A、dialogues. Good deal. We've been saving money all over town using coupons at the supermarket to buy groceries, getting coffee on a two for one deal. So、yeah. people love bargains, right? They love to save money on things they want, but. Are there things out there in the world that you would not want to get for a bargain? You wouldn't、mm. want to get the low, the lower price, or the the twenty percent off because you think no, if if it's cheaper, I'm not sure、oh, it's going to be good. There is something that I would not.、Okay. If it's something that I need to use for the year and it's something that's almost expired. You know,、okay. some products that are almost expired will、oh. be, you know, twenty percent off.、Mm. But if it's something that I'll need to continue, if I can use it in two months, it's great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if I need to use it for the year, I wouldn't get it. I see. That's、something、one of those that you would、things. take along, like old toothpaste or something. You're like,、yeah. I don't know if I want to buy that yeah, toothpaste. Yeah. It says it was good this year, yeah, but I might、exactly. use it. Yeah. Well, sometimes at the supermarket,、mm-hmm. some of those things that don't stay fresh、mm-hmm. very long, like milk. Maybe fruit, yeah, vegetables. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you'll see them. It'll have a sticker on it that says, you know, a lower price. Would you buy lower price, fresh things that may not be so fresh? Definitely, and、you、I would? would eat it the same day. Okay, yeah. I, I, I think it's you, a wonderful deal. If you eat it quickly, that's exactly, good. And I guess、exactly. the other good thing is that you feel good because you're saving it from ending up in the garbage. That's correct.、Right? I、the、think it's a huge waste、away. if they didn't have those discounts because some stores don't do discounts. Counts at all, and、mm. they end up creating so much food trash. So、right. I know some people really want to get things that have the normal expiration date, so、yep. they won't buy those. I will always buy those and eat it immediately,、okay. so. It- It doesn't go to the、But、trash. A lot of them, you can look at them through the yeah, plastic、exactly. and see if the apples are still good. Exactly. I know if the milk box is kind of fat. Yeah. That means yeah. it's maybe nope. not so nope. good. Nope. Yeah, yeah so that's right. Don't buy that one. Anyway, so there you go. Some things we love to save money on. Other things you might think, no, not a good idea. I don't want to spend less because I don't think it's as safe or as good as if I pay full price. But generally, people love bargains. Let's get to our dialogues. Emma and Wilson are shopping for shoes at a department store. I'm ready to pay. Did you want to buy another pair? Hmm. We should buy something, but it doesn't have to be another pair of shoes. The department store is offering a deal where we can get three hundred dollars off if we spend three thousand dollars. How much are the shoes you want to buy? They're one thousand eight hundred dollars. And yours are nine hundred and ninety dollars, right? So we'd only need to spend two hundred and ten dollars more to get the discount. Nice. How about this shoe spray? Kiss foot odor goodbye. Ah,、uh, actually, that's a leather protection spray, but it costs two hundred and fifty dollars, so that'll work. So part three has an interesting title: spending money to save money. Is that a real thing? Well, it is kind of a weird sentence, right? But I guess in some ways, if you buy more of something that you use a lot, yes, you'll get yes, it yes, for yes. a lower price. Okay, that makes sense. So you're spending money to save money, but it is a special situation, and it's not something we would do all the time when we go shopping. But in this situation, we might. So let's look at the situation. Emma and Wilson. Are shopping for shoes at a department store. Oh, gonna buy lots of shoes. Maybe some shoes that they've already, you know, thought about buying、oh, for a long time. Oh, one of those buy two get one free yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, only yeah, want yeah. one pair, but hey, if I buy two, I'll get three.、Eh, maybe I'll spend money to save money. All right. Well, Wilson begins the dialogue. He says, "I'm ready to pay." So I guess he's picked out his shoes. These are the ones he wants. He's ready to pay and leave. Did you want to buy another pair? He asks Emma. That's kind of nice. You know, I've finished shopping. How about you? Or do you want to? And they're keep... shopping together,、yeah. so it's nice. Exactly. Do you want to keep shopping? I'm ready to go. Is what Wilson is saying. We should buy something, but it doesn't have to be another pair of shoes.、Oh. Hmm. 
Ooh, Emma Smart. The department store's offering a deal where we can get three hundred dollars off if we spend three thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very, very interesting. So if you spend more than a certain amount, then you start to 10 save. Ten percent off is good. Some money. That's yeah. right. So that's uh, going to get the store a bit more business, even though they're giving up a little bit of the money. And Wilson, he's intrigued by this. This sounds like an interesting idea. So he asks Emma, "How much are the shoes?" You you want to buy. They have to make mm, sure true. they reach that magic three thousand dollar number. They're eighteen hundred dollars, and yours are only nine hundred and ninety dollars, right? So we'd only need to spend two hundred and ten dollars more to get the discount. Two hundred and ten dollars more will get them up to three thousand dollars, and then they can get that savings of three hundred. Nice, says Wilson. This is good. He's like, okay, great. Kind of, you know, that kind of reaction. He likes this idea, so they kind of look around. You know, they don't need to buy a whole pair of shoes; just something that's two hundred and ten dollars. Huh, what can they get? How about this shoe spray? He picks up a can of spray, and he kind of says to Emma, thinking that this is what the shoe spray is for. Kiss foot odor goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye to foot odor. Basically, <laughs> he thinks it's one of those sprays you put inside the shoe, so it's not chocho. -cho, so, <laughs> you, so you don't have Hong Kong foot. Oh yeah, oh my God. Is that called? Is that called? It Hong is Kong called foot? Chang Kong Jiao. It is. I never understood that. It I mean, is. People in Hong Kong have great feet, but whatever. Anyway, he doesn't <laughs> want to have stinky feet, and he thinks this spray will help, <laughs> but it won't. <laughs> Actually, that's a leather protection spray.、Mm. So that that means my leather shoes might get dirty or wet. So、right. I want to spray it first and、ah. then leave it for thirty minutes, and it lasts for about a month, and it just prevents it. It makes the leather shoe last longer. Okay, so you put it on the outside of yeah, the shoe, not, not your the、foot. inside <laughs> of the shoe. So you'll have dry shoes but smelly feet. <laughs> True. Maybe. True. All right. But it costs two hundred and fifty dollars, so that'll work. Oh, okay, all right. So that seems like it will be just what they're looking Good for. Good idea. As we mentioned, this is a can of spray. Now, when we talk about spray here, we're using it as a noun, and basically, it's things that come in cans like that. They have a little thing on the top. You press it with your finger, and a spray. Comes out this sort of like、uh, like a mist, like a mist,、yeah. almost like little bits of water floating through the air. Now we can also use it to talk about something that comes like that. So it might be spray to put under your、ah, arms. Yeah, yeah. Spray you might so, use to clean fins, things, to、toner. kill, to kill bugs,、oh, okay. to put on toner, to put on hairspray. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of these things, stuff to put on your skin to protect、Sunscreen. you from mosquitoes. That's what's in our example sentence. Many things. Come in the form of spray if we need to kind of spread it out over a large area. For example, this bug spray doesn't work. I'm still getting bitten by mosquitoes. That's because it wasn't bug spray. <laughs> it wasn't bug it spray. Wasn't bug spray. It, was, it was sunscreen. It was spray on butter. So now、That's、you're、terrible. more delicious. And the other word we have here is leather. And、okay. leather, those are the shoes we talked about. Leather is made from animal skin.、Mm. This is, can be cow skin. It can be sheep skin. And it's often used for shoes because it makes the shoe last a long time, and it can be quite soft and comfortable.、Mm -hmm. Some people wear it on their、um, on their bodies to stay warm. So that's the animal skin. Tony put on his leather jacket and sat down on his motorcycle. I hope he's good looking because I like that image. Oh, leather is leather. a very, very good thing for if you're riding a motorcycle. It goes very well. Oh, and it, it protects you. Oh, if okay. You fall I'm, off. I'm just thinking it looks good, yeah, so uh, looks Tony, good as well. Yeah, he sat down on his motorcycle. So there you go. All right. So it seems that they've reached the three thousand、uh, level. They're going to save three hundred dollars and leave with a little bit more. Than they had planned to buy. They spent some money、Wonderful. to save some money. Let's take a break. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们今天又有两段对话是跟寻找优惠有关。那在第一段对话里面 ，Emma 和 Wilson 在百货公司买鞋子。Wilson 说他准备要结账了。那么 Emma 就认为应该要再买点什么，因为百货公司现在有这个买三千送三百的优惠活动。其实不一定要再买一双鞋嘛，可以买别的东西来凑。Wilson 听到也很感兴趣。那这时候 Mike 老师他说 ，He's intrigued。
by this idea. 那我们来学一下 intrigue 这个字 ，i n t r i g u e 这个动词表示引起兴趣、引发好奇心，我们就可以用 be intrigued。by 什么什么来表达被什么引起兴趣了。好，那现在 Emma 他们开始在算手边要买的东西总共多少钱，算一算发现只要再花两百一十元就能获得折扣。Wilson 这时候看到一罐喷雾，他以为是鞋子的那种除臭喷雾。Emma 说：“哎、欸，那是皮革保养的喷雾啦，那那一罐是两百五十元，刚好可以让他们拿来凑满三千元。”好，单字 spray spray 这个名词呢，它表示喷雾或是喷雾器。它也可以当动词来表达喷洒的意思。老师们在讲单字的时候有提到 mist, m i s t, mist 可以表达水汽或者是喷雾、薄雾的意思。还有说到 toner, t o n e r, toner 表示化妆水，有的化妆水就是用喷雾方式的。好，下一个单字 leather, leather 它表示皮革。那补充单字 odor， 它是指味道、气味。那我们有时候讲味道是讲比较臭的臭味嘛，我们可以用这个形容词叫做 stinky， s t i n k y， stinky 是形容臭的、不好闻的、产生臭味的。好，我们接着回到课文中。Emma walks up to the checkout counter. Good afternoon. Sorry for the wait. Are you a Wins Boutique member? No, I'm not. Should I be? Well, there's a fifty-dollar discount on your first purchase as a member, and you'd be informed of any future sales through our app. Would you like to sign up?、Mm, okay.、Mm-hmm. Do I just download the app? Yes, that's right. And you'll need to fill in a few basic details like your name and phone number. I see. All done. Your total is five hundred and fifty dollars. How would you like to pay? I'll pay with my credit card. Right, so we're looking at all sorts of different ways you can save money when you go shopping. Use coupons. Look for those special deals.、Um, get one free. Spend money to save money. And here's another one. Number part four, four: becoming a member.、Ooh. Yeah, these days a lot of these stores will sort of say, "Hey, give us your line or or sign up on our Facebook page yeah, or yeah, something." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll become a member, and they'll send you information about sales. And the idea is you can save money. I find they just send you messages all the time. I know there's a lot of spam emails. But sometimes they do.、Uh, they do help you to save money. So it says Emma walks up to the checkout counter in some kind of store. Yes, that's true. And the counter is the place where the person who's serving you is going to stand at. It's also the place where you pay. So Sandra waited at the counter for an employee to come over. So maybe Sandra needs something. There's no one there. So Sandra's like ding ding ding, ring a doorbell, or just waiting,、uh, ring a bell, and then the clerk might come. Yeah, as、okay. you mentioned, a counter is kind of like a table. It's higher though, so、yeah. you'll stand. You、yeah. won't sit, and it's kind of where you do work. You、yeah. pay for things at the counter in your kitchen, that place where you stand and chop your vegetables and do stuff. Well, that's the kitchen counter. So we have these types of things and lots of places to make working easy as long as you don't mind standing up. So the clerk greets Emma by saying good afternoon, just a warm welcome. Sorry for the wait. So I guess it was a bit of a long line,、mm, and、yeah. maybe Emma's been waiting for five or ten minutes or something. So the clerk very. Politely apologizes to the customer Emma for that, and then the clerk says, "Are you a Wins Boutique member? In other words, have you signed up for the store to get all of these special deals by being a member of the store?" No, I'm not. Should I be? Is there any good deal that I would get if I'm a member? That's what she's saying. That's you know? a good answer. I'm not a、Should、member,、I、but、be? is this a good idea? Why、is、would I? Is there a good reason? She's basically saying, why? What I want to be a member.、What、Tell me. What can you me, give me? Make this worth my time. Yes, exactly. Well, the clerk says, "Well, there's a fifty dollar discount on your first purchase as a member,、mm-hmm. and you'd be informed of any future sales 
through our app. We will send you lots of spam messages about sales that you might not be interested in, but you would be informed about these things. When you're informed about something, basically you are given information about something. Something's going on, and someone tells you either by saying, "Hey, did you hear about this thing?" They might write you a message. They might send you a text. You might see an ad on TV or something on the news. The news informs you of all the important things that happen. Happened in your city, country, around the world that day. So if you're getting information from somewhere, you are being informed. informed. And notice, inform and information, information. very similar yeah, words. Yeah. For example, the man informed us that the bank will be closing in five minutes. Oh, now, we gotta go. That's kind of a formal way. We could also just say the man told us. Yes. Right. If yes. someone tells you something, especially if it's interesting, important, or useful, they are informing you. All yes. right. So now that the clerk has informed Emma about what's going on, the clerk asks her, "Would you like to sign up?" Oh. Or he could have said, "Would you like to become a member?" Okay. Do I just download the app? That's Emma's question. Yeah, how difficult is this? Sometimes you have to fill out a form. Oh my gosh, you have to fill your in your information, wait for the email. Stuff. Yeah, for some people it might just be like that's a waste of my time. Too much I only、work. come here once every five years. Yeah, no. So I don't need to be a member. But I guess Emma is、uh, is more of a, a, a frequent shopper. She comes to the store more often than that. Um, so she's kind of thinking, yeah, I might want to do this, but is it easy? So the clerk tells her, yes, that's right. All you have、oh, to、good. do is go to the app store, find the app, and download it onto your phone. And he adds, and you'll need to fill in a few basic details like your name and phone number and ID number and date of birth and your mom's name and your cat's、oh、name、God. and where you live. No, no, just some simple stuff. But sometimes it's not. That simple, but、yeah. it sounds simple. It's it simple. simple. It's simple.、Yeah. Emma says, "I see." It means I understand or、mm -hmm. I get it.、Mm -hmm. Oh, all done. Oh, here it、okay. is. That was fast. So it was simple. Yeah, she's finished. Yeah, she's filled it in. She is now a member, and、Quick. I guess now she can get that fifty dollars savings. That's、so、great. The clerk tells her your total is five hundred fifty dollars instead of six hundred. I suppose. How would you like to pay?、Mm. This is a common question. Basically, they're saying, "Would you like to pay with cash, with money? Would you like to pay with a credit card?" I guess now we could talk about using. I always use Apple Pay. Apple Pay, Line Pay.、Yeah. There's all these different apps、yeah. that you can use, or you can use、uh, your Easy Card,、yeah. right? Your Yoyo -Yo Card. True, you can true, use true. lots of different ways to pay. Which one would you like to choose today? Emma says, "I'll pay with my credit card." That's the most convenient for her, so that's、Perfect. what she'll do.、That That was really easy. That was pretty easy,、yeah. and I guess if she goes to that store a lot, this is going to be good for her because、yeah. she'll save more and more money, and they will also inform her of any special deals and sales and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a good idea a fan, to become a member. Yeah, if you're a fan of the store,、yeah. if you go there a lot, it makes sense to do that. All right, guys. Well, save shopping,、you. happy shopping, smart happy shopping. shopping, save yourselves a little money here and there because you never know. When it might come in handy. Take care of yourselves and each other. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye. <音楽>好，在最后一段对话里 ，Emma 走上结账柜台，店员就问她是不是 Wins Boutique 的这个会员。好，我们学一下 Boutique 这个字，它就表示精品店、时装店，是个名词。那 Emma 说她不是会员，接着就问对方说：“她应该要成为会员吗？她想知道成为会员有什么好康的。”那店员就说：“会员首次购物可以折抵五十元，而且可以透过他们手机应用程式来获得优惠活动的消息，只需要下载应用程式，填写一些基本资料，像是姓名跟电话就可以了。”Emma 当下就下载，然后很快就填好资料。希望他以后不会收到一堆讨厌的广告讯息。刚刚老师没有聊到说，有些店家会透过 email 寄一大堆垃圾邮件给你。那 spam 这个字 ，s p a m 这个字就可以表达垃圾邮件。spam 是不可数名词。好，那么单字 counter，counter counter 它表示柜台，也可以指料理台的意思。再来看 inform。inform 这个动词可以表达通知、告知。我们常常会用 inform somebody of something， 或者是 inform somebody 加上 that 子句来表达通知某人什么什么事。那刚刚这边有一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看这个重点。
。偏语动词 sign up 可以当及物用法或是不及物用法。当不及物用的时候呢，是表达签约或者是报名参加。那我们常常会用 sign up for something 去表达报名参加课程啊、组织或是团体等等。我们来造两个例句。I just signed up for yoga classes. 我刚报名了瑜伽课程。He's going to sign up with another team. 他将会跟另一支球队签约。好，那 sign up 当及物用的时候，表示替某人报名、签约、雇佣某人的意思。我们可以用 sign somebody up 或者是 sign up somebody 来表达为某人报名参加、让某人加入某个活动的意思。我们来看两个例句。The record label signed the band up last year. 唱片公司去年签下那个乐团。还有啊，像同事问你要不要跟他们一起玩交换礼物，这时候你可以说 ，That sounds fun. Sign me up. 听起来很好玩呢，让我加入吧。好，那么以上是些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Emma and Wilson are shopping for shoes at a department store. I'm ready to pay. Did you want to buy another pair? Hmm. We should buy something, but it doesn't have to be another pair of shoes. The department store is offering a deal where we can get three hundred dollars off if we spend three thousand dollars. How much are the shoes you want to buy? They're one thousand eight hundred dollars. And yours are nine hundred and ninety dollars, right? So we'd only need to spend two hundred and ten dollars more to get the discount. Nice. How about this shoe spray? Kiss foot odor goodbye. Ah,、uh, actually, that's a leather protection spray, but it costs two hundred and fifty dollars, so that'll work. Emma walks up to the checkout counter. Good afternoon. Sorry for the wait. Are you a Wins Boutique member? No, I'm not. Should I be? Well, there's a fifty dollar discount on your first purchase as a member, and you'd be informed of any future sales through our app. Would you like to sign up?、Mm, okay.、Mm-hmm. Do I just download the app? Yes, that's right. And you'll need to fill in a few basic details like your name and phone number. I see. All done. Your total is five hundred and fifty dollars. How would you like to pay? I'll pay with my credit card. Hi guys, I'm Oliver. Hey, I'm Ian. And today we're going to play a game called Word Drop. We each have three words or phrases in our hands. We haven't seen them yet, and we have to work them into a conversation as casually as possible. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Should I go first? Yeah, you should go first. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. You know, sometimes you're trying to figure out where you want to go. You're trying to get around in Taipei,、uh, but you don't know. So what you do is you check a map to inform yourself about how to get there. And sometimes when you are just on the road or on the MRT in Taipei, and you're trying to go someplace that is kind of relaxing, you got your laptop with you, you know what I mean, and you want to like sit at a cafe, and then you look at the menu and decide what you're going to order. Then you go to the counter and you place your order. Hmm, I see. Yeah, and you know, you place your order. Let's just say. You sit down, and you eat some food, and then someone is sitting next to you, kind of eating, and they're kind of a little bit of a messy eater, and they spray you with food. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, that would be kind of weird, right? That has never happened to me. Although I do find that some people in Asia aren't really great at.、Um, 
covering their mouths or talking with their mouths closed when they're eating. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's like a cultural thing, but a lot of times they just talk and there's like food flying everywhere. It's not spraying at you necessarily, but it just falls. I find that really gross and like completely disgusted by it. Um, but uh, speaking of restaurants, there's some really nice restaurants that I've seen in Taipei and they have like amazing decor. And I saw the, the most beautiful like leather couch in this restaurant. Hmm. If I arrived in a restaurant and there was a beautiful leather couch, I would say, sign me up for three courses, I'm hungry. Courses? What was your... Three courses, like starter, lunch, and dinner. Is that your word? Courses? Uh, if, if, if I could have... No, I'm saying, what is your word? Is your word courses? It's, it's sign up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Okay. Uh... So, yeah, three courses, you know, that sounds like a meal. I love the buffets that they have here. They're really delicious. And a lot of times they have these like huge banquet halls. Did you know that you can like rent to like a private mm -hmm. room, like for a banquet hall? And in these banquet halls, like you can host all different kinds of, um, all different kinds of events. So like weddings, um, I don't know, besides weddings, but like, you know, um, birth baby showers yep. and stuff like that. And in these baby showers, you can also have like a goodbye party, you know? Like when someone's leaving the mm -hmm, office mm -hmm. or something like that. And that's when you can kiss your old job goodbye. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So are you going to buffet anytime soon? See you next time!